Hi everyone, it's me Chase. I am going to start hyper focusing on a game. I'm just doing some game development for fun. Uh, I say hyper focus because I pick random <laughs> like hobbies and then I focus on them. But yeah, this is my new one. Um, game development. And I think I'm kind of just taking an open discovery kind of format where I'm just going to try tutorials and document what I'm learning. Um, I just wanted to document my first day, which is basically me learning the very simple things about Unreal Engine 5. Um, I'm picking Unreal Engine because I live right next to Epic Games. Would love to work for them one day, but yeah, and I, Unreal Engine 5 just came out. Thought it'd be a great time to learn on it. Um, and yeah, those are kind of some of the reasons, but let's see here. If you use Unity, that's great. Let's see here. I want to show you guys what I built uh, real quick. Let me open it up. I've got, this is my wife's, my wife's background uh, thing. It's not me, but uh, yeah, I just built a really, obviously you can see it's really simple. It's literally the template of Unreal Engine 5, but I added a connect button, a host button, and an IP address button. And what that and what, I, what that is, is basically like a very simple multiplayer game. So whoever's hosting the game would, you know, type in the IP address in that box, uh, press host, and then you would become a host and people could connect to your session. It uses your com computer. Um, obviously, you know, that's not the best for multiplayer games, but it's fine for what I'm doing. Um, and then if you want to connect, you like connect to the person that's hosting the game, you would type in their public IP address into that button, press connect, and you join. A couple of things to note is that um, you need to open your like port on your router uh, to seven 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 seven, um, and you need to and you just look up like port forwarding, how to like you know, open up a port on your router. Mine Spectrum, so I looked up how to you know open a port on Spectrum router, and then I found it. It was pretty easy. Um, I just used like the app on my phone. Um, so you need to do that, and then you also need to do a few other things within uh, Unreal Engine, like the, uh, oops, within the, I'm just trying to shut down the game, give me one second here, within Unreal Engine, um, as in like the coding and stuff, um, which I need to like take a break because none of this was possible without this tutorial. I probably should, should have explained it at the beginning. All I did this entire thing was just follow this tutorial. It's eight minutes long. It probably, I think in total, it took me like an hour and a half, but like knowing basically nothing about Unreal Engine. Um, so, but, what you can do with this tutorial is literally, from nothing, create a very simple multiplayer game with the buttons. Um, he has a couple of clips where, like, see, he goes through all the blueprints, walk you step by step. If you just follow this, you can create exactly what I have here. Um, I don't want to take any credit, full credit to Elias Wick. Um, but, yeah, so I think in the future, uh, what I'd like to do is add in, like, spells or ways to like attack other people uh, so the next iteration will include that uh, another thing when you're doing this very simple multiplier is that um, it there is no duplicate like replication I think is the term where your computer when you're in the game and you have a connected two people right you can see each other moving around and that's good but like the objects that you interact with are not do like replicated on both. So like one person will see a floating box that you can move in one place, 
but it's not the same for the other person. And I think that's called replication, so I had to add that in. Um, and I also need to, um, yeah, so replication in spells is what I want to do for the next video, or my next, like, session of game development. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to, there's a lot of things I want to do. I want to create a basically a very simple version of World of Warcraft Arena where there's no, no leveling or anything but you're able to get in and just play arena uh, and I also just for fun would like to create just some like open worlds that you can go and explore um, I don't know if I'm going to use hyper realistic kind of assets or low, low poly assets um, but yeah those are some of the things I want to do um, I'm doing this more as a hobby um, Maybe one day I become an Indian developer, but I, I'm not. That's not necessarily my goal as of right now. But anyways, if you watch this, uh, I hope that I don't really know. I don't really know if you'd be inspired by this, but I'm mostly documenting, chatting, letting you guys know what I'm doing. Um, but maybe you can join me in this journey and check in on me every once in a while. See how far I made it. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.